It sounds so stupid, but I didn't really know what a designer was until maybe I was even 18 or 19. I was always knew I worked with art and colour and sort of details, and I did a foundation, so you do everything there, and it was kind of there that my tutors guided me, you know. So no, it was really when I actually moved to London that fashion design was the sort of specialism. But then it made sense, because I'd always been really interested in clothes, and I used to buy clothes from jumble sales, and you know, my mum and dad would be like, what are you doing with that? They thought I wanted to wear them, but it wasn't really wanting to wear women's clothes or men's clothes, it was just an interest in fabric or colour or old clothes, really. Me and my sister on a Saturday morning, we'd go to Camden and we'd just go and get like dreadful shoes and horrible clothes, really. But we'd, you know, you'd go, you'd wear them to like after school in the week, and you think they were really like individual, but they were those horrible big shoes. Or so, but then I used to try and recreate this look on my sister or ones that we'd seen in London, and it kind of didn't really quite work because it was like budget or badly dyed hair, but. I guess that was all the fun of it, really. You don't, no one tells you how to sell your collection. You don't, well, I never learned that at college or, I mean, I grew up in, my parents had a business, so I knew a bit about it, but yeah, I've made every mistake you could make, really, with ordering and creating. But now I, now I know that, and now it's more of a, it's a new challenge as well to make something that someone wants to wear and that is special enough for them to part with their money. It's sort of a new thing. And it's really rewarding when someone will actually buy that piece. So it's, an, it's like a new challenge, which is, yeah, I do quite like it, actually. I think I stick to it. I think there's an element of, you know what you're gonna get in each collection, but also there's an element of surprise and the sort of design and inspiration, but you know you're gonna get a great, one of my jumpers and a leather jacket each season in the men's wear. I've kind of tried to, I want people to know what they can have from me almost, but with a new take on it each time you create a collection. I love the idea of something hidden. Not ruin, it's not about ruining it, but it's more about just enjoying it for what it is rather than being precious about it. I don't mean like stamp on it on the floor, but just have fun in clothes. They're not I think that's the philosophy of life as well, you know, you should enjoy it.